Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile with the Gravekeepers. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Hit the like button down below. And remember, any donation, big or small, will help the channel grow. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you. Alright, here we go. Let's see who gets to go first. Nice. Yep, don't mind if I go first. You want to go first with this deck because once they see Necro Valley or even... um. Dinah, because I, I run him too. Plus the continuous spell card, it also negates. Uh, look, there you go. That spell card then negates on special summon as well. If I don't get Dana, but uh, yeah, always going first is a must. Nine out of ten, they just quit. Alright, let's set Necro Valley. Right, I need another Gravekeeper in order to activate her true effect, which bring on my fusion, but. Set bottom list to protector. And yep, I'm gonna set this. Now he can't special summon. And I'm gonna discard his whole hand real quick. Couldn't ask for a better hand. Now I wonder what ritual monster he's he's playing with, because I saw a thousand hands go to the graveyard. Happy Feather Duster. Ouch. I also run uh, a Dark Bribe just in case to if I do come across against a Harpy Feather Duster. Dark Bribe saves the day 9 out of 10. I mean, wow, he just cleared my whole field. Ouch. I mean, it happens. Look at that. Harpy Feather Duster and Raigeki are mandatory in each deck. Regardless of what deck you're playing, you gotta have one copy of each. I don't care what deck you're running. And look at that. Just like I had field control. Look how easily he got rid of that with Harpy Feather Duster and Raigeki. A duel can change in a blink of an eye, guys. But you got to know your cards. Trust in your combos. And everything will be fine. Alright, I want to see what is he running though. Probably blue eyes. I mean, or Harold. Oof. Wow, this guy had everything. Oh, there goes my backfield. No, I'm not going to activate it. I mean, this is a great card. You know, I could. One side. I could have, the only bad thing is you have to discard one card in order to activate his effect where you can remove anything on the field that's face up. Could be either a monster or a spell or trap card like for instance i like using this card for skill drain or if i'm playing like a different deck and i'm going up against a gravekeeper i will use it on necro valley not now because i'm running gravekeepers but and you gotta i put one marshmallow because in case stuff like this happens marshmallow will buy me time and it's a quick thousand bird to them as well Ooh, here we go. Ah, but I need Necro Valley. No, I gotta wait. I mean, I could discard her and activate my trap card and remove anything that he brings out, but like, I really wanted to use the effect to bring back my other Gravekeeper, and then I could do my fusion. Uh, he is playing uh, Blue Eyes or Max Chaos Dragon or right, so I'm playing against a Dragon deck. Okay. You already know what he's about to do. Yep, he's in a special summon. Can have that. That's gonna be a problem. Hell yeah, activate. Discard one card. And now, just like that, remove from play. I mean, I know you guys want to have hand control, which is okay. But this card comes clutch many of times. And look at that. Since I activate a trap card, or even if he were to activate a trap card, you could bring the other one from the graveyard to the field, either in attack position or in defense position. 
And you can use them as a tribute later on down the road, so it's all good. And with Gravekeeper, it works great because I have plenty of cards where I could fuse. I have one card, uh, a fusion spell card, where I need five different spellcasters and I could bring out a 45 fusion monster. Uh, I also got, you know, the spell card where you could bring two Gravekeepers back to the hand. So discarding Gravekeeper is not an issue with this deck. But if you're using the Parasitic card like in other decks, just make sure that it will kill your hand. But the benefit is that you will remove something from, from play. Oh, and Grave Digger Trap Hole, perfect card. This, this will help you against a lot of meta decks. If they activate anything from their hand or the graveyard, not only can you negate it, but you're gonna burn them for 2,000 on top of that. I suggest you have that in every deck, at least one or two copies. Especially for Synchro Summons. Synchro Summons, they get back monsters from the graveyard. Nope, negate it, and you're burning them for 2,000. They wanna activate Cherry Blossom on your turn? Nope, negate it. So it's a pretty good card to have. I know they have another trap card called Debunk, which will remove from play the card that they're trying to activate. But I kind of actually like the burn part. Having my opponent lose 2,000 and I negate his effect, it's a win for me. Alright, let's see who's bringing out right now. Oh man, if he hits that trap card. Oh, wait a minute, this is the 3,000 Joker. It's not even the Max Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon. That would have been game. I would have lost right there if it was the other one. I'll take that 3,000 happily. Damn, and he negated my effect with Marshmallow. That sucks. Hmm. I put him back in the fence position. I need Necro Valley. Man, I got super. I ain't gonna lie. I got lucky that he had that ritual. Uh, see, look. Cherry Blossom, guess what? He's trying to negate my effect. Nope. I negate you. And you're gonna eat this additional 2000 burn on top of that. I'm telling you, this card is perfect. I think I will bring my trap card. Actually, no, hold on. Yep, negate Cherry Blossom, burn his ass for two, get Necro Valley on the field. We need this. Man, this is a roller coaster of a fight. This guy's putting up a hell of a fight here. But it's okay, you gotta be patient, guys. You can't panic. Just trust in the combos, they will come. Now, I know a lot of people don't use uh, marshmallows or any of these other cards that I'm using, but sometimes Gravekeepers can be a little slow. So, you need a lot of stall cards. Like, I also have um, one Swords of Revealing Light. You know, even though you know it's going to get popped by the second turn Swords or even the first turn, you need that one, you know, that one turn to stall so you can get your combinations going. That's the only thing I didn't like about Great Keeper. That they're a little slow. Like I can't get the combos to come out fast enough. And hand control. Like I lose hand control real quick. But it's alright though. Alright, let's see what we're gonna do now. I think I will bring my girl so she could fusion summon the 33 attacker. Get rid of his ritual monster. And I'll be able to draw a card when this guy hits the graveyard. Oh yeah, activate bro. See guys, you just had to be patient man. It's, it's all gonna come. Hell yeah, put him in attack position. Activate his effect, rock to draw one card towards the end of the turn. And I get an additional card with this guy when he hits the Graveyard. So now, just as easily, we're bringing back our hand control.
Yeah, activate. Marshmallow, you gotta go back into defense mode, Marshmallow. And I can't keep taking no more hits. I don't know, gotta get rid of this. The rest will follow. So just in case he does get rid of my Necro Valley, I already have another one ready to go with this guy's effect. So you always got to have Necro Valley ready to go at any time. So and control is great, but you got to have Necro Valley to make this work. Like that, you, you force him not to be able to touch his graveyard. And that's it. I mean, now, now it's our turn to be on the offensive. I mean, in case I get any trouble, I could use this card. Well, I could activate it now. I mean, I don't know. Hold oh, no. up. Start attacking real quick. Why he end the battle? No, I'm about to say. Thought he was gonna end battle phase for a moment. Now he's gonna bring out another car right now. Mm, yep, active my effect, make sure I get my extra draw. Just gotta wait, gotta be patient guys. Alright, I don't think there's nothing else I can do, I'm just gonna go ahead and end my turn and get my draw card. In case he does get rid of my monster, I could use this girl and bring back another from my graveyard and then bring him right back out again. So, not to be negative, but you gotta plan for the worst. <laughs> use it now and if anything I can use my spell card to bring her back to my hand. I'm only doing this so I can use this blow up effect and start blowing everything on the field so I could attack directly. Ah see if I had another great um digger trap card I would have negated that effect. Ah he quit. Guys they're gonna be quitting left and right when they know they can't special summon anything. Let's see how we do in our next duel. Alright, let's see how we do with our next match real quick. Guys, this is our easy way to get gems, level up, get to a higher ranking. Um, again, and you always want to go first. I mean, even if you don't get to go first, it's fine. But try to see if you could go first. Once they start seeing you putting on Necro Valley and they know they can't use their Dry Tons or anything else, like any other meta decks out there, like it's a wrap. Like for instance, that new hero guy, he blew himself up and whatever, he comes back. But if you have Necro Valley and you kill him with, let's say, Raigeki, right? And he kills anything else, but you have Necro Valley, he won't be able to come back out. Unless he kill himself to destroy Necro Valley, then that's different. Look at that. They, they just quit, man. They, they quit. Once they start seeing you go first... They know that they have a meta deck, they're gonna just quit. Easy gems. Let's see how we do in the next duel. Let's see who gets to go first. Alright, he gets to quit. Oh, he chose me to go first. Don't mind if I do. 
I mean, I level up a lot. The reason why I'm not so high ranking or diamond rank yet is because I'm constantly testing out new decks and and I was you know I want to be different and today I'm, I chose to make a decent good uh, Gravekeeper deck and like I said look I'm using cards like Marshmallow, Dana like in case I don't have my continuous spell card to negate special summoning then I just use my dinosaur the only problem is is that I don't have enough backfield protection to protect either my Gravekeeper or even my Dinosaur card right there. So I'm going to have to play it safe and throw Marshmallow out. I could have threw out my 17 attacker guy, I mean the 12 attacker guy and then he would get his boost from Necro Valley but I'm going to wait. Let's see what he's going to do and then we could judge the field from there. I mean, once they start throwing stuff in the graveyard, good luck. You ain't going to be able to get it out. I believe I'm running 41 cards with this deck. And 22 of them are monsters. And the rest are all magic and trap cards. But I don't know. I don't, I, I don't feel like it's is balanced correctly. I mean, nothing wrong with getting a full full of monsters, but if if there's any, look at that, he quit. <laughs> I'm telling you, he can't use his graveyard because Necro Valley, and now he has to deal with Marshmallow, knowing that he can't get through that wall now. I'm telling you, it works great. Let's see how our next opponent um, does. But like I was saying, um, easy W, guys. You could get hella gems this way. Wow, you make they're letting me go first. I'll take it. And that's why I have marshmallow there to stall. See now I got a, a full whole bunch of magic and traps and one monster versus the other hand I got a whole bunch of monsters, so I don't know. Again, if there's any weakness to this deck, I gotta find a, a consistency to the magics and trap and monsters i think that's the only thing that i haven't fully gotten mastered this year i mean i could always do an update on this deck but overall its win rate is at 80 percent 80 percent wins with this deck and like 60 percent of them they're all like your opponent quitting once they once you start off with your your combos they just quit I mean, look, right now he can't special summon, and even if he were to destroy my backfield, then, you know, again, if I had Dana, the dinosaur card, you know, I mean, that's my nickname for it. I will still be able to stop special summoning. And another thing, hand control. With Gravekeeper, I also notice I lose quick. I mean, I have cards to bring cards from the graveyard back to my hand, but... That's another drawback I noticed with this deck. That's why I, I, I said what I said is that 80% win rate because not only the backfield, sometimes you left you get left hanging, but your hand control it, it disappears quickly in order to activate your combo properly on the field. So you gotta watch out for that. Now I'm not scared because I have dark bribe on the field. It's protecting Necro Valley and everything else, but you know, sometimes you have to pull all those cards down and there is no dark ride and now what? So you take your chances. It's a risky business. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Am I really playing against a blue eye? So that's just his card sleeve. I mean in either case, I should be alright. Oh, and the other thing I got to update on this deck in the future would be my uh, Synchro Summoning Monsters and my XYZ since I haven't unlocked... Oh, man, he quit. <laughs> I'm telling you, once you lock down the field with no special summoning and no access to the graveyard because of Necro Valley, your opponents will quit. I'm telling you. Just got to be patient, man. And again, if that hero comes out, you will activate Bottomless and he'll go bye-bye. 
and then he won't be able to bring himself back because Neko Valley's on the, on the field. I haven't run into an opponent yet, so I could test out that theory. But I'm telling you, everybody's been using it, using that guy so much, it's annoying. That's why I have this anti meta deck. <laughs> Alright, this is a good hand. And again, as you see, like, I'm not really doing anything. I'm just setting up the field. And the fear they see once you see the Necro Valley and you have your monsters out, they just quit left and right. They don't even bother to trust in their own combo. See, they're just like, nah, I'm just going to throw in the tower. So, that's what I tell you guys. Be patient. It's going to happen. Just trust in your combo. Now I'm going to activate this now because it's turn 1. I'm going to have this guy already set on the field. And in case I run into any trouble, I can always use the spell card to bring the girl back and refuse him if he gets taken out. But I need to gain hand control back. I'm gonna activate it now because a lot of people are playing that foolish um, burial card. That um, I don't know if that's the right right one, but its effect is that they remove from play one of your cards from your graveyard. So I ain't taking no chances. I'll take my two monsters back right now. If Necro Valley would get destroyed, I go. I have two of these guys to bring back another one, so that's why I can get a spell card. I mean, let's see what this guy is running. I mean, overall, I think Gravekeepers are it's an underrated deck. A lot of people don't seem to like them or even want to play them now with all these new crazy synchro summonings and XYZ and and all these fusions, you know, with the fusion festival, everybody's just playing the same cards. But if you build around Gravekeeper properly, you're going to have a serious deck out there. I mean, I know I could do better with this deck. I just did this right now in a rush because I don't have all the right cards I want. I mean, I wasted my 7,000 gems on a Dark Magician because that's the next deck profile I want to build. And I finally got all the gems that I needed from the Fusion Festival and from the daily events and all that stuff. And I added up. Look at that. He quit. I'm telling you, they just panic. They don't know what to do. They see a strong monster or even Marshmallow who they can't get through with attacks. And Necro Valley, they just quit. Easy gems, guys. 9 out of 10, they don't know how to handle Gravekeepers. And a lot of people don't even read the cards properly and they just quit. And that's the third time they're letting me go first. You don't regret that. <laughs> even Eldritch, I would love to play against an Eldritch player because try to bring his ass from the graveyard. I don't think so, especially if Necro Valley's there. Now, for that Shadow Monarch you see right there. I have them there solely purpose when I have Marshmallow on the field or my Parasitic Trap card when I bring him back from the graveyard and I put him in defense mode. I do that only for the sole reason that I'm going to use that Monarch to tribute Marshmallow after I use his effect or that Trap card. That's the only reason why they them two are there. Uh, I know you're asking yourself why would I have a Monarch in a Gravekeeper deck? but this monarch has come clutch plenty of times where they have where they're synchro summoning a crazy strong ass monster or xyz summoning a monster that i can go over with attack points because my highest attack um card is 33 with the fusion guy so this monarch will come in clutch where he'll be like nope remove from play or let's say I don't have Harpy Feather Duster at the time or Dark Bribe and I need to get rid of something on the field. Like a skill, well not skill drink because then he will negate my effect. But anything else like a field spell card, anything that's troublesome, I'll just remove it from play. And like I said, look, right now he couldn't special summon or do whatever he wanted because Dana's out. And if you want to bring something in attack mode, 
then I would have used my trap card to remove her from play, like that to protect Dana. And another ability that people don't, they they overlook about this, this monster, if you were to summon him in defense mode, face down, and you flip him, whatever they special summon, all that gets destroyed. So, this card is clutch in many ways. Not only in face up attack position where they can special summon, but let's say you had no choice but to put them face down and they have a field full of monsters that were special summon. As soon as you flip them, they all get destroyed. And that's another reason why I run three of them in this Gravekeeper deck. Not only to bring them in face up, but if they have a whole bunch of field monsters, bring them face down, flip them and destroy the whole field of their any monster there was special summon not normal summon so see now it's my turn so now i'm gonna use my monarch and i'm gonna start removing stuff from play and again it's not only for the trap car or marshmallow obviously i will use regular grave keepers to tribute them to get my guys effect because i need five different type of gravekeeper in the graveyard so I could fusion summon this 45 uh, fusion guy I can't think of his name like I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh in a while and all these new names I can't remember them but I'm telling you I, I hope I could bring him out that guy is clutch I used to run um, cyber and dragon and the Maleficent Cyber and Dragon because I have three field spell cards in um, whatchamacallit in Necro Valley. But the only problem with that card is that when he hits the field, you cannot attack with nobody else but him. And the reason why I put him there is because he could double knock with Blue Eyes Max Chaos Dragon or anybody who's 4,000. And I pretty much use him so they could double knock. But I decided to take that card out. Because it was becoming a little bit bricky and I'm like, nah, I'm going to have to roll the dice. And that's why I kept the Monarch there to, you know, remove anything that is troublesome. I'm telling you, he has come clutch. And again, once he brings out something stronger than my Monarch, I use my trap card and remove it from play. It's that simple. I mean, right now he can't special summon nothing. I mean, the most he could do is normal summon and try to attack Dana. Like, but again, I have him cover. I'm like, no, whatever you bring out, get out of here. And you have to be patient with your trap cards. Don't just activate it on anything that you first see. Just wait to see what they do wait until they synchro summon or xyz and always catch the first one <laughs> don't just panic and grab the first monster like you have to be patient i mean right now the field is locked like he can special summon anything like he has to get rid of look at that i'm telling you guys they always quit easy gems you want to hurry up and level up, make your own Gravekeeper deck, and you're going to see how fast you're going to go up the rankings. Alright, let's see how we do with our next opponent. And again, the reason why I, I just started playing the game, and since I'm always trying to create new decks, like, I, I don't play just with one deck and level up, no. I'm always testing out these new decks in um, ranking too. Like, I don't bother to trust the... Um, play casual to test the decks out there like now nah, i go straight to ranking and test them all out there one because even how many times i draw back a rank as soon as i get back to that rank i'm getting 100 gems so it's for two reasons it's easy way to get your 100 gems every time you level up a rank and so what if i lose it i'm just testing it out until it's ready to the way i wanted the deck to work so i could then post it online but again, I don't care if I lose a hundred times because no matter how low my ranking gets, I could easily get back up there and get easy gems in the process of <laughs> getting back to platinum or even diamond. So 
it's it's okay guys test out your decks in ranking it doesn't matter if you lose because you're gonna level up back again and you're gonna keep getting that that hundred every time you keep ranking up so it's another way i see to get easy gems so that's my advice to you guys all right let's see what this guy is running over here we got a field full of monsters okay that See what we're gonna do here. I mean, this is what happens when they go first, man. Now you gotta wait. I mean, I'm definitely gonna probably activate swords. Even if I send out my monster and it gets destroyed, I can always bring him back with my other spell card. I mean, he's probably going to bring everything XYZ or Synchro or even Link Summon monster right now. So Bottomless will be, it's not going to work on my turn because he's going to already have his strong monster most likely on his turn right now. And Dark Bride would definitely come clutch to protect swords while I'm trying to stall to get either necro value or my other monsters so i could get my combos running so definitely you have to get dark bribe i run two copies of dark bribe in this deck and again their main job is to protect necro value obviously you want to use dark bribe for a harpy feathers duster or any other card that will attack your field spell card but Dark Bribe's main job, Necro Valley. Protect that card. I don't care about any other else. Right? Get you the whole field. Do what you want. But his job is to protect Necro Valley. And again, a lot of people, they like using Solomon Judgment or Solomon Strike. But I don't like wasting life points. There are great cards. Don't get me wrong. But I'm sure I could find other ways to negate um, magical spells without having to waste all those life points. And I'll, I'd rather give him an extra card. Go ahead, draw one card. But I'd rather negate that card. <laughs> and this guy just had a whole field full of monsters. And he got all his life points back. Damn. There we go. Come on, heart of the cards. Necro Valley hit the field. Let's do it. Yep, activate swords. I mean, obviously, I'm still gonna put bottomless down. I mean, maybe in his next turn he'll keep continuing linking or X Y Z or synchro, and then I can use bottomless to catch whatever he brings out. But hmm. let me get some quick life points. Definitely gonna keep destroying that card because I don't want this guy to keep getting. Um, healing his life points back, so I gotta destroy that card. Hmm. I mean, I could use his monster to link summon, but yeah. I don't feel like discarding my one card, which I'm gonna need probably later on, so. Let's see what happens. I mean,. You might have hand control, but I definitely got field control. And again, I am not as worried about Harpy Feather Duster because guess what? I have Dark Bribe already on the field. And we could use Dark Bribe to, um, well, we all know Dark Bribe negates any spell in Cracker, so it doesn't even matter. And again, even if you guys see better ways you could update this deck, by all means, do so. I'm just giving you like a, a first draft of my version of Grave Peepers. With, you know, helping supporting cards like Grave, um, Grave Digger Trap Hole, your Dark Bribes, um, your Dana Dinosaur Monsters to negate special summoning. Even though you have the one, I run one copy of that continuous spell card who does that to negate special summoning. But... I've seen people run three copies of it. Uh, it just becomes bricky, and especially if you don't have Necro Valley or a monster, then that card just a dead draw. So I just keep one copy. Yeah, look at that, he quit. 
Uh, I told you guys, easy jams. They can't handle it once you start getting everything going. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys next time.